Now, I have intentionally allowed this lettuce to go to seed. We're about to try and harvest it. So we're going to cut this, see how many seeds we can get. Hopefully we can get some seeds here because I need to plant some new lettuce. And it's time. So let's get started with that. All right, this was the most productive red leaf lettuce I had in the aquaponics system, which is why I allowed it to go to seed. So what we're going to do is cut each of these limbs off and get them into this bag. See how many of these we can save. Because we need seeds. And the problem is here they have really terrible seeds. So I need to get seeds that will work here. Um, it's not like in the States where you can get dozens of different types of lettuce or dozens of types of anything. Here you get lettuce or you get lettuce. Um, that's it. So we're trying to save these, see if we can get them to be productive here rather than, you know, it, it's, you know, if we have something that has grown in the aquaponics and was productive, we save the seeds try and grow it again. After five generations, we should have a good solid plant. And that's what we're trying to do now. We're trying to get the generations in place to get started with this. So let me show you what we're doing here. If you look, all right, here's an old dried up flower. Now, we take, pull it apart, and after we do that, And if you look, that has got probably half a dozen seeds in it. So each flower gives us about half a dozen seeds. And we need a lot of seeds. This is a key part of keeping yourself, you need to be able to grow and save your own seeds. And the seeds you grow on your property will grow better than seeds you buy. So you're always better off saving seeds if you can. All right, so this is what we have. This is, uh, well, it's not just the seeds. I have to go inside, because I can't do this out in the wind, and separate the seeds from everything else. So that's what we're going to do now. We'll come back. I'll show you when we're done. All right, what you're left with is this, which is a bunch of fluff and the seeds along with it. Well, we want just the seeds, so we're going to separate them. Now this works a lot like uh, the seeds are real heavy and everything else is super lightweight. So they separate out by gravity. What I do is I separate them. I knock them into this thing. Then we separate a few. We separate a few and then eventually you end up with this. Clean and only seeds. So, one step at a time. Okay, there we go. Now it's all just seeds we'll be able to put these in an envelope and save them for later. There is a big advantage of using the styrofoam. It creates a static charge and if you look what happens is the seeds fall and the fluff gets stuck with the static charge. 
It's taken me probably 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes to separate all the fluff from the seeds. But, you know, it's the sort of thing you do, or sort of thing I do. But it only takes a few minutes. Okay, now, doesn't look like a lot, but I don't need a lot. We're just going to plant these in, back in the aquaponics system and see how they do. So, we're going to put these in this little uh, envelope here. I'm going to label it, put them in here. We're going to plant some, and this is our first generation. We need five for maximum production, so let's start. All right, guys. That's All right, now there's the end. We have probably... Oh, that's more seed than I would get in a uh, in a seed packet, a standard little seed packet. But more importantly, this is seed directly from and grown directly in this aquaponics system. So this gives us... Now, they say it takes five generations for the seed to actually get... But each generation gets us closer. So we're going to be able to convert these seeds into more lettuce plants, which will give us more seeds and so on. But this is our first generation. Now I'll plant these back in the system soon and that'll give us another another generation. So that's it guys. It's uh, not a whole lot of seeds, but it's one plant. We'll just let it go to seed. So that's our one seed packet. We'll be back with more.